I'd like to welcome everybody to today's uh, uh, second round bag lunch of the Digital Publishing Group. Um, we are actually looking at different names for the group, so if you've got any ideas, uh, we're soliciting them now and then um, we can all decide a little later on. But for now, it's the Digital Publishing Group. and. Uh, the reason that we started the group was really to educate uh, folks at different houses in the industry on different digital initiatives. Uh, we launched the group uh, I guess a couple of weeks ago with Debbie Steer, who spoke from Harper um, Harper Studios. So if you were um, if you weren't at that one, that was a, that was a great event, and we actually have a video of it up on YouTube um, that that you can check out. Um, excited about today's event, uh, but um, and uh, Maggie will be introducing Neil in, in, in a minute or two. But um, first, just wanted to say, say something brief about uh, Daily Lit, which, in case you haven't heard of it, uh, lets books be sent in sh very short installments that come into your email inbox or via RSS feed. And uh, one of the impetuses actually for starting the group is that I would uh, speak with a number of different publishers, and in fact I come from publishing. Um, by the way, I'm the CEO of, and founder of Daily Lit, Susan Danziger. Um, and going around to different publishers, uh, I realized that folks really didn't, um, didn't, uh, either didn't understand or weren't comfortable in the digital arena, so I, uh, Maggie and I, Maggie Hillier, who will meet in a second, uh, realized that there was a real need to educate folks in the industry, so um, we're excited about this group and uh, um, invite you all to help organize future events. Um, so that's a little bit about uh, Daily Lit and the group. Um, if you'd like to find out more about Daily Lit, um, come talk to me. I guess in the future we'll be having more specific information about about Daily Lit, uh, but in the meantime, you may want to go to dailylit.com and sign up for a book. Um, we, we have books, we have parts of books, we even starting an excerpt program. So lots of things going on at Daily Lit, uh, but uh, really we're here now to support the industry with this uh, digital publishing group. Um, I wanted to introduce now Maggie Hillier, who's been instrumental in forming this group and organizing it. And uh, anyway. There you go, thanks. Kathy yeah, Hillier. Um, so a lot of you know me already, um, but for those of you don't, I'm the marketing coordinator at Daily Lit, and um, along with Susan, we uh, put this group together. So as she mentioned right now, we're calling it the Digital Publishing Group, but as you saw in my email yesterday, we're trying to think of a better name for it. So please send me your suggestions, and uh, we'll open up the vote um, in a week or so, and we'll let people vote for a month, and then we'll sort of have everybody uh, decide on the new name. So um, for today's event, uh, we're having a pretty open forum. It seemed like people enjoyed last time uh, when Debbie spoke that there's a lot of time for question and answer. So we kind of tried to stick to the same thing. So we will speak for about 20, 25 minutes, and then the rest of the time um, we'll be open for questions. So if you're thinking of questions, you can ask Neilan, and um, I'm sure he'll be happy to answer uh, anything you, you want to know. Um, while the uh, event is going on, I hope you'll all be tweeting um, using our hashtag, which is uh, Um You can also follow Daily Lit uh, and me and Susan, and then Neilan and Sansa Reader on uh, Twitter. And um, after the event, <laughs> um, and then after the event, we'll um, we love hearing your feedback, so we'll uh, make a Next, uh, next time our event is uh, it's June 8th, so it's coming up really soon. I realize um, this is kind of a special meeting since Neil and happened to be in town um, and was kind enough to uh, put, fit us in his schedule. But we're meeting June 8th. Uh, Gail Horwood, who's the head of digital for Martha Stewart, will be talking about um, what, what the definition of a publisher is and um, how that's been changing as, um, as the digital realm has really exploded. So it'll be June 8th, 1230 to 130. At Simon and Schuster, I think more you know confirmation to come, but I'm pretty sure that's that's what it'll be. But of course, I'll send an email around, and then we are planning an event for July too. 
um, should have more info about that in a minute. There'll be concrete advice. Yeah, yeah, there'll be obviously concrete uh, invitations sent out. So, um, all that said, I'll uh, now introduce Neil and Toxie, who's the um, CEO of Lexico, the company behind the Stanza Reader, the um, With over 1.8 million users in over 60 countries and over 8 million ebooks downloaded, Stanza is the most popular ebook reader for the iPhone and iPad Touch. Prior to joining Lexico, Neilan was the COO at SpringSource, the company behind the popular open source Spring framework. Neilan served as the co-founder and president at SolarMetric, a leading, a leading object relational mapping provider, which was acquired by BEA Systems in 2005. Neilan also worked for Tech Trader, Anderson Consulting, Strategic Services, and Exxon Research and Engineering. Neilan currently serves on the boards of SpringSource and Tasktop Technologies. Neilan is a graduate of MIT and was part of the often publicized MIT Blackjack team. There was a movie made about that a couple of years ago. And um, at the Stevens Institute of Technology and the University of Chicago Booth Graduate School of Business. So welcome, Neilan. Thank you. Thanks for having me. Um, kind of in classic choose your own adventure style. Uh, I'm going to just start off by asking you guys what you want to hear from me. Um, I can talk a lot about Stanza, obviously. I can talk a lot about where we are with ebooks and kind of how we've gotten to this current spot. Or I can focus more on a demo of Stanza. And uh, so we'll start with um, should I talk a lot about Stanza? Okay. <laughs> yeah, no, that's fine. Um, um, uh, talk a lot about how we've gotten to where we've gotten to with ebooks. Okay. <laughs> um, or um, or a demo of Stanza. I think a demo of Stanza would be great, and then maybe going into the um, the first topic about how <laughs> I've already forgotten the first topic. <laughs> <laughs> ebooks or, or yeah, you got a question? Okay, yeah. we'll do a little. Yeah, go ahead. yeah, I was just gonna say if you could talk about the future, especially now that Amazon owns you guys with the future <laughs> of this system. <laughs> <laughs> like formatting and things like that. I mean, the issue of uh, an industry-wide format is a sort of a big thing and where this is going now that Amazon owns you. Sure. Yeah, let's start with the free demo so we know what you're talking about. Okay. <laughs> All right. I'm going to bounce around on a lot of slides here, so, um, but hopefully I'll cover a little bit of everything, which is what it sounds like I'm here. Um, so you got my background. Um, I think probably the biggest thing about my background is I, I did hear somebody who only started publishing about a few months ago, but um, I didn't know what an ebook was last time this year. So just to give you an idea, I, I'm an, we came from the enterprise Java world. We're a bunch of you know, dorks, basically, who built plumbing infrastructure, and uh, and basically, you know, so I'm equally with the publishing. We'll see you guys probably have a lot more experience than I do in publishing, so it's like, I'll see you know that. And this is really who I am. <laughs> 